Welcome back, Hannah Marie Bays. Hannah Marie back again with another YouTube video. So if y'all write a title and see my thumbnail, y'all, y'all already know what I do. So story time on how I got my baby out. Okay, yeah, I'm not pregnant. Oh, don't mind that. Don't mind that. Yeah, why not? <laughs> and I am six days postpartum, you guys. So yeah. I had a little girl six days ago. I'll show her in a minute, but she's asleep right now, okay? So, yeah, y'all. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, comment down below what y'all want to see next. Because I'm not pregnant anymore, so what do y'all want to see now? But, yeah. Um, so, I had her July 7th, 2023 at 8.23 p.m. Okay, y'all. She was 7 pounds, 20 inches long. Okay? Sorry, y'all. But, yeah. Y'all see who's in the camera now. Her uncle is scaring me. So yeah, I had this little girl. All right, anyways, so yeah, y'all, let's get to the story time. Okay, so I had her at 38 weeks in two days. So I had already lost my mucus plug, like um, like weeks late before I had her. So yeah, I was cramping the whole time. I thought it was brachytics, but. But they were really contractions, you guys. Y'all see her jumping? She's fine, okay? They're really Braxton Hicks, okay? So, no, I thought they were Braxton Hicks, but they really were contractions. But, y'all, this is my third child, so they, were, they wasn't hurting me. I said that in previous uh, video. They were, wasn't hurting me. So, hold on, fast forward. Y'all remember when I posted the, um, come to my third and I was for me? They were just going to induce me the 11th, okay, y'all? They were going to do something like Had her the seventh. So, yeah. Keep that in mind. So, I was like, I didn't take, I kept taking the raspberry leaf tea. If y'all know what that is, if y'all don't look it up. I was drinking that constantly. I was doing squats. I was walking around. She wasn't coming. So, July 7th at 1.51 p.m., my water broke. It didn't break as if, whoosh, but it just, like, I was asleep and I felt something dribble down. And I was like, like the way I rolled off the chair, you guys, I rolled off the chair like I was a freaking, in a freaking Spider-Man movie. I'm like, I felt it. I was like, my water just broke. I woke my husband up. I was like, babe, babe, my water just broke. He was like, no, it didn't. So I went to the bathroom, changed my clothes. I smelled it first and it smelled like chlorine. And then... I changed my clothes. I lay back down. I said, go back in there. Sorry, y'all. They should be taking on that. But anyway. Mama, why are you jumping? So, yeah. Then, I laid on the couch on my phone. And it came down again. I was like, oh, yeah, it's time. It's time. So, I woke up my office. Babe, babe, my wood is broke. Like, come on, let's go. He's sitting there, like, looking around. I was like, let's go. He got up. And then my brother-in-law woke up my mother-in-law. And she was like, y'all see her jumping? I don't know why she did that. So then, and then we sat in the garage. She was like, are you cramping? I'm like, no. I was cramping, but it wasn't like cramp, cramp, cramp. I was cramping. So everybody sitting in the garage. We're waiting. We're waiting now. We're waiting until my father and I get dressed. Everybody had to get dressed because the hospital was 27 minutes away from where I stay at right now. It's 27 minutes from where I stay at. So, I'm like, I don't want to go. And then they send me home because my water's not really broke. But I'm like, if I stay too long, I get an infection. Which was really bad because I stayed too long. But, so then we get to the car and we get ready to go to the hospital. I'm cramping. Like, them cramps was coming. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm hurting, I'm hurting, I'm hurting. So, we get to the hospital. And... I walk upstairs. I had to go in triage by myself because they won't let my husband order. So when I get to triage, they're asking me a lot of questions. They had to check me for they had to check my water to make sure my water broke. She's like, oh yeah, your water broke. And they seen her hair. So I'm freaking out like I'm about to have to say. Huh? Okay. Oh, I gotta check out. But yeah. And then she's like, Oh yeah, I see hair. 
I was four centimeters, y'all, mind you. So then I had to wait for a room to get ready because I guess everybody was having babies. So I had to wait till the room get ready. Thank you. And then, go. And once I got in the labor and delivery room, I had to call my husband up. So he's going in the room with me. When it checked me when I was in the labor and delivery room, I was seven centimeters, y'all. So I went from four to seven in less than 30 minutes. And I was scared, y'all. So then, so then y'all, once I got, then I, they told me, I was like, she was like, what do you want for pain? Uh, pain? And then I was like, I want the IV meds. I don't want the epidural. I don't do the epidural, y'all. I must don't. I can't. I can't do it. So, I got in the room. They were checking. They put the IV in. See, y'all, they bruised me because my IV, they put the IV in, my vein collapsed. It always did. So then, they had put in this arm. So, I got my IV. Y'all can't see. I got the marks too. I got my IV. And I was like, I'm not hurting. I thought I had it, y'all. But obviously, I didn't. So, this dumbass girl right here went too long. And meds were out. I can't. I couldn't get none. So, I was 17 years. So, I started bawling. Start crying. I'm like, I can't do this. I can't do this natural. Like, I cannot do this. And my mother was like, you're already doing it. Like, you might as well keep going. Huh? Anyway, y'all. I keep getting interrupted. But, so, when I, when they kept checking me, and then they kept saying I was six or seven. So, I'm like, if I'm six or seven, why won't y'all give me the medicine, right? And she was like, do you want an epidural? I'm like, no, I don't want a fucking epidural. Like, I was getting so mad, y'all, because people out. And every time I would have a contraction, I was pushing. So, they kept asking to check me, and I'm like, no, I don't want to be checked. No, no, like, I'm done over. I'm over again checked. And then my husband's in the background, like, if you're pushing, you get checked. Let him check you, Marie. And I'm like, no, I'm not getting checked. So then they come in there and get the stuff set up. Because I guess they seen it, her head. Because I was on my all fours. I was on all fours. And every time I have a contraction, I will push. And she was like, stop pushing. Because if you erupt your something, you guys get a C-section. I start crying again. Because I'm like, I don't want to see what the C-section is. Then I'm about to get the epidural. So then. And then. Um. I kept pushing. She was like, okay, I have to check you because I need to know if I'm getting, I need to get dressed or not. So then I'm on my all fours, you guys. All I feel is somebody stick their hand. Why am I having a contraction? She was like, oh yeah, you need to turn over. And I'm like, I start crying. What you need? All right, y'all, I don't know where I left off at, but yeah, so she told me to turn over. And then when she told me to turn over, she was like, what I need you to do is grab behind your leg and push. And the nurse that I had on one side, they told my husband to get on the other side. So it was my nurse, my husband, and my mother-in-law. She was in the front. She was like, hey, I need to take a deep breath and push. So the nurse that was beside me, she was freaking weird. She was weird. I was like, I need somebody to help with my leg. She was like, oh, somebody need to help with my leg. Like, bitch, grab my leg. Like, what are you doing? So it took me forever to push because it was hurting me, you guys. Mind you, no epidural, no pain medicine, no nothing. I felt everything. So I'm pushing, and I feel her hands grabbing my thing grabbing it if y'all have had a baby y'all know that shit feels weird it was feeling weird it's hurting so i kept stop pushing i kept stop she was like you have to because every time i push i would suck her back in so then i was like oh my god bro i can't do this i can't do this and then like yes you can push 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 and then the last push i pushed her out at 8 23 a.m yeah. so yeah y'all that's the labor delivery story that's it wasn't at the major. I couldn't vlog because your girl was going through. I kept going through. I couldn't stay still. So no way that I was gonna push. I mean, hold this camera while I'm... no, couldn't do it. So yeah, y'all. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, comment down below what y'all want to see next. And y'all, that was it.